I'm going to present to you a very simple dish, something which I do at home when I've got friends. You know, sometimes people come in the house and it's like very impromptu. Things which are also very nice to do around the pool. Very simple cooking, just a couple of ingredients put together. And ingredients which are easily available anywhere into supermarkets, local markets such as watermelon, soy, mirin, with a little bit of salt and pepper here. So I managed to put my hands on some very, very nice and fresh ikura. Ikura is salmon roe. We can find them in small supermarket today, but again, this ingredient can be replaced with your choice, such as smoked salmon or prawns, if you like prawns, or even simple other vegetables which can be roasted as well. Let's get it started, it's pretty simple. Watermelon is actually something which contains natural sugar and ferments. I used to use this ingredient and simply freeze them like ice cube. So cut little pieces and freezer and it gives me simple ice cube. So what happens is the natural sugar contained in the watermelon will caramelize as soon as I heat them. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a flat stove behind me, but you can use a pan at home for barbecue, for example. I'm gonna heat a little bit of butter and soy sauce and just sear the watermelon. So it's gonna br become brownish, caramelized. You have to be very gentle with me because it's the very first time I'm using this type of stove. I'm Emmanuel, can you cook any fruit or just Watermelon. Um, watermelon has something really specific. It's very good for your diet in terms of sugar content, but I guess I could work with mango, banana. You see how it, it starts to caramelize? So it starts to become a little bit brownish. That's the effect of soy sauce, butter, and sugar combined. And so when you caramelize, you don't need to add any sugar because the sugar no is sugar, already in the No sugar, because the sugar is actually content into the food itself. When we buy ikura on the market, Japanese market, it can, can come in different ways. Most of the time it's a little tin which you just open. Sometimes if you are very, very fortunate, you can have the whole egg pocket, which then we need to open and wash. As a rule of thumb, I like to wash my ikura and I will wash it in a mix of soy and mirin. The soy will give me a little bit of salt and wash with the nitrate, and the mirin will give me the opposite, a little bit of sugar. So that dish actually ended up to be something which is a bit sweet and salty together, which is a texture and a combination of ingredients which I quite like, mainly when I have it as a first starter or a little canapé or nibble. I'm gonna mix half-half, half mirin, half soy. It's not very precise, never mind. And no need to marinating, it's just washing. So you can see these little fibers of things floating. The washing part will remove that, like the egg white will be like a bit cooked, I would say, into the salt of the soy. So the result is very simple. It gives me like an instant dressing, a soy mirin dressing, and the ikura is cooked and seasoned with that, but it's also washed. I'm gonna try it. It's quite like a one. In the early days, it was very, very hard to find fresh herbs. Now we have a lot of micro cress, different types of fresh herbs. You've got from Japan, from France, from Italy. This is what I have this morning, which is called sakura mixed. It's a little bit of different types of Japanese herbs. This is something which I'm going to use a little salad. Dressing comes from ikura, and my main texture will come from the watermelon. I don't know what it is. It's not fusion, but it's yes. Yeah, it's Japanese, certainly Japanese ingredients mixed into it. There is obviously the soy, the mirin, ikura. It's not something which is a new ingredient. It's actually caviar. That's exactly what it is. I hope you enjoy it, and feel free to break the rules. That's what recipes are for. Thank you very much.